So this is the room that I'm going to be doing. As you can see, they're not in the best of shape. Not this yellow. <coughs> it's taken me 10 minutes. Please excuse the mess of me. I'm sitting here trying to write a list as I'm about to go to B&Q and I want to get the hallway renovation started. Let's call it a makeover because I'm not really doing any hard work, like structural work I guess. So at the moment I want a paint scraper for the stairs because there's paint on either side of where the runner used to be up the stairs and I want to ideally get the paint off and stain them like more of like a walnut stain colour um so I need a paint scraper first before I try and get one that's like a paint remover like gel sort of formula I know those are really messy so I want to try and see if I can scrape it first and then I ordered already on Amazon some mouse sanders which hopefully will help me with that I think I got bitten which is what this is I need some more wall paint I'm just gonna keep it fluid the same that's in here the same that's in the living room kitchen dining room I'm just gonna keep it white for now so it's fluid throughout the whole house really and going up the stairs and I need to do the landing as well that's the last room if I feel like changing I can change after but I want to keep everything a blank canvas for now as before everything was so busy and there was so much going on I want to start with a blank canvas and then if I want to get a bit experimental further down the line I can do so I need to get a new tub of a large paint. I want to get cupboard paint. There's this cupboard chest of drawers over here. This, oh my God, it looks so messy. But I have bought already some stuff to do a reno on that and I want to find a paint color. I was going to sand it all down and stain it, but I do think I want to paint it. Um, either a, like duck egg color or maybe more of a um, mushroom color. I'm not sure yet, I haven't decided. He's just knocking stuff off the bedside over there. Um, I need some brushes. I still have radiator paint left. That has actually lasted us from the first uh, reno we did, which was, well actually was the bedroom, but this is a new re uh, radiator, so we didn't need to paint this one. But the first big one we did was the living room. And we've since then done the living room and the spare room paint the radiator and that has lasted us and there's definitely enough to do the big one in the hallway but I need some paint brushes for that because that paint is so sticky can't get it off the brushes so you kind of have to get rid of the brush after that and I need some rollers I've got like the frames of the rollers I just need the actual roller I've got handles and everything that I want to do that chest of drawers I need to actually measure whether it's going to be too thick for the door so let me actually do that now. So we're measuring currently at 43, but with handles and everything, I'm gonna give it, it's also a little bit wider. So I'm gonna give it 45, just writing that in my phone. And then I'm pretty sure the length is fine. I'm just gonna double check. You're not helping. which is here saying 100, 105. I'm gonna add a couple centimeters on that. Even though I do plan on getting rid of this because I've got proper legs for it because I do want it to stand a little bit taller. So we have this framing at the front door here. But if I put it up against there, 46, if it focuses, as you can see, hits right in front of the door, so. That should be plenty of space for the handles as well. And then if we do lengthways, we've got enough space here for at least 145. So it's not gonna hit the walls and it's not gonna fit perfectly in that slot. But that's okay because I like it to have a bit of space. I think it's gonna look better anyway. So this is the room. I'm gonna be doing this old thing needs a bit of a paint and then I'm gonna see here this is what I'm gonna see if I can start to scrape up or not because as you can see some of it started to come up anyway and from watching some renovation videos where people redo restore furniture 
a lot of them use like a paint scraper to get paint off first and then I'm gonna sand it down um, as you can see they're not in the best of shape but it's okay I think it looks good I hate this floor I think it's gonna be redone soon so we're gonna ignore the fact that this floor is here this is the new light that's been sitting here for a while and then that's the sander the mouse sanders and then here everything that's going to be painted white i'm still debating whether to paint the spindles black because we have some black accents here this i'm going to keep but obviously all these shoes and stuff are going to be i'm going to put in the chest of drawers that i'm putting over here so I'm thinking to just keep this sort of Finney's area where like his case and stuff can go and the shelves will be really nice and tidy. I'm just gonna keep most of it in there because in here we've got like tennis balls, some more shoes, cleaning stuff, which I feel like cleaning stuff can fit in here as well. And like bags for life, which can also go in the chest of drawers. So this stuff can all be moved. There's like tennis rackets and stuff here, which hopefully will fit in the cupboards. I'm gonna go for it all in white for now. This is gonna be moved. I might actually, I don't know how old this is, but I might actually put this in the kitchen. I think like either, I mean, I think this wall is a good size for it right here. So I might put it up there. I recently got, I don't know if you guys showed you. <laughs> I got him this little water fountain. Um, when we got the new fridge, I put this in and he loves it. Don't you Bobby? We used to, um, sometimes leave the tap on for him if we're brushing our teeth and stuff and he'd love to like either play with the water or drink it and so I thought this was perfect for him and there's filters in there that I need to change and stuff but yeah he loves this I actually need to fill it you can see the water in there how far down it's going so I actually need to give that a bit of a fill up as well and it gives him fresh water because it filters it out as well. Good boy. Is that nice fresh water? Okay, I think I know what I need to get. And maybe anything I see along the way. There's currently nowhere to put coats, which I don't really want to keep coats down here. Like this thing just, see, it accumulates crap when there's hooks here. And obviously when the chest of drawers is here, I want a mirror above it, which I think will look really nice. And the only place to really put hooks would be like on this wall behind me. But then you'd be able to see it in the mirror, which I don't really want. I think what's best is to start on the stairs because um, that's probably going to make some mess. And I don't want to paint and then create mess. So let's go to being cute and figure this out. Okay, a little B&Q haul. As I just got back, I had some food. And I want to see if this stuff works. Um, first thing I got is a massive thing of brilliant white. This is what all the walls is going to be the same as this. Not this yellow that's here. It actually doesn't look as yellow as it is. It's quite yellow, but it's going to be this colour, this colour in here, the white. So just matte white, brilliant white. So I've got some new rollers. It's quite a larger one. Hopefully they will fit. I don't know. Some brushes. As I said, I'm going to paint this radiator as well, which needs a good coat, but I have to throw away the brush after. I also got some wood primer for the wardrobe, uh, chest of drawers I mean, and this one here, this cupboard. So that's gonna go on first. And then the one I went for, which is interior wood and metal. It's from Good Home, so it's B&Q's own paint. And it's called Limerick, is what I went for. I originally saw a Dulux color, which was called Olive something, and I wanted that one, but I thought it was better to go for a paint that takes wood. Hopefully this is enough. If not, I'm gonna have to get another one. That's an eggshell finish, so hopefully quite matte. And then, to scrape the paint, which is what I'm gonna try now, I got two things. Hopefully this will work. This is a six-in-one tool, it says. 
and it's just one of these and then I also got one of these which is a stripping knife and it looked a bit sharp and will maybe help me get into the corners and stuff like that but I'm not sure how well these are going to work so I'm going to try these out now because as I said I think this is the first job I need to do before anything else so let's just give it a go because if not I have to go and get some formula uh paint stripper to try and get this stuff off to get the hammer as well because I think I've missed quite a few nails as I go. Oh you guys can't even see this little patch just here it's taking me 10 minutes so this is gonna be a while. So that took me 10 minutes to do that little patch, which isn't a lot, but I'm going to be sanding it down anyway. So I thought I'd open the sander and just see how long sanding it down is going to take me. I've been provided a lot of extra sanding pads. I don't know what you're Okay. Uh, and I've got some pads in here as well. These are 180 grit. And then I've got, oh, it goes up to 800. I've got some 60 grit here. So I'm going to go with those. Yeah, let's go with those first. Let's just try and see. Right, thankfully, I've got a plug here. I don't, our plugs in our, in our house, when the floor was laid down, and if you can see, but if there's this extra bit at the bottom and the plug's not flush, they do not go in. So I'm gonna need to get an extension cord. It actually sanded a fair bit down there, but the only thing I worry is that I'm going too far down on the wood and I don't want to thin out the wood too much. So I'm gonna carry on with the scraper actually and then I think I'm gonna go with what I originally planned which this being, the sander being the finishing rather than starting with it. Cause I think, I think I'm just gonna ruin the wood too much but it looks like the wood is in a really nice nick and I'm gonna put a nice stain over it once I've scraped all the paint off. I've already scratched my finger. I've just realised that this is actually going to take me hours and I could probably do with a paint stripper. So I am going to pop to the hardware store and see if I can find one. So I'm going to clean this mess up first because <laughs> it is already everywhere. because trying to dig some of these nails out is impossible so um this is hi baby say hi to the world show her your show her your 
gorgeous boy. Hey, gorgeous. This is the paint stripper I got. I don't know how good it is, but it's the one that our local hardware store does. So, I'm gonna put it on. It says, to put it on, apply thick coat with a dabbing motion, two to three minutes, do not brush out. Once paint has blistered in five to 10 minutes, we'll see if this blisters in five to 10 minutes, that's hype. Um, then apply a second coat working into the blister paint and leave up to 40 minutes. So I'm actually just gonna try it on this bottom patch that I've started on. And if successful, I will carry on. Definitely very strong. I should definitely be wearing a mask, but I'm not. But can you guys see? It's already blistering and down here. So I'm just going to tidy up my stuff here while that is drying. And then I'll do a second coat into the blistering. I am actually in shock that this is blistering so well. Can you guys see that? So I'm gonna do another layer on it. You can't figure it out. It's not until the, the end that you see the logo. You're like, okay, I don't get the connection. know what I'm wearing in this incredibly dirty mirror but I'm wearing the Jen Cabalassos I can't say her surname sorry uh for naked fashion one shoulder dress uh my Birkenstocks this H&M oversized denim jacket and the new Prada bag I just wanted to show you where I got yesterday this is after quite a few coats um, of using this stuff. As you saw, it's quite a messy deal. And um, I've almost used this whole tub, which is quite full. And I didn't get very far. But obviously there's quite a few layers on here. But it is taking it off and I feel like it's making the stairs a bit bigger. So I'm gonna carry on going, but I'm gonna go back to being cute right now and get some more because it's just not enough. Hi guys, it's been. 